Hi, my name is Ursula Smith and I'm making a video today to enter into a challenge for my craft channel. We're going to be talking about transparencies today and there's lots of different ways that you can make transparencies. They usually It usually involves a printout of some kind either from a laser printer or an inkjet printer um, or magazine picture and then some kind of material that will help you lift it off. Um, you can use there's lots of different techniques. You can use packing tape, rubbing alcohol, vodka, <laughs> although I'd rather drink my vodka. Um, but in any event, a lot of those techniques, you end up um, taking a printout and then putting something on top, peeling off the back, and it will go somewhat clear and transparent, but if you look behind, there's still a lot of the paper lint left behind. Um, it's still a very cool technique. Good thing is you can use your printouts. But today I'm going to do something slightly different, and we're going to be using my favorite thing, rubber stamps. Um, so sit back, and I hope you enjoy this video. Hi, I'm back. So what you need for this technique is the Ranger craft sheet. Um, in a pinch, if you don't have the Ranger craft sheet um, and you buy Epson Photo Glossy Paper, there's a um, pad that comes with it that looks very much like the craft sheet, and that will work in a pinch. But then you're going to need a rubber stamp and some ink. I'm going to use VersaFine Black today. And then you're going to need golden, either the clear tar gel or the self-leveling clear gel. And that's about it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to ink up your stamp. And then you're going to stamp directly onto the craft sheet. Be a little bit careful. I just moved that a little bit. It's a very slick surface. Hopefully I didn't mess up. Well, I missed a spot, but actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it that way because any place where there isn't ink, when the gel dries, you're going to be able to see through it. So I kind of have like a little outline going there, and I'm actually kind of liking that. So I'm going to leave it as is. Then you're going to take your gel and you are just going to pour it on top. Sometimes, um, whatever, depending on the ink that you use, it can smear when it mixes with the gel. So if you want, you can always use a workable fixative and just spray it just a smidge. And then you're going to pour gel on top and this gel is self-leveling even though it doesn't say the self-leveling gel obviously is self-leveling but so is the tar gel and you're just going to go around and kind of fill it in kind of getting low on this further. There, that's it. And then one, one, another tip um, that I got from somebody else, I'm forgetting who, unfortunately, um, but if you put Vaseline around the edges of your jars, the you, they won't get all gunked up and so you can get your covers on and off easier. So that's just another tip that I'd like to pass on from somebody else. Apologies to the person who uh, I learned it from. So now here is the really hard part. You have to walk away. You have to let it sit for not just an hour or two. It's really kind of days that you have to leave it sit. You're going to let it sit so that it's not milky white anymore. It's going to be clear, 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 clear so that you can see right through it. And usually, especially, um, I'm in, it's summer here right now, really humid, hot and humid. Um, it, it will take days. So um, 
Let's give it a week. We'll see you in a week. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Hi, I'm back. I just wanted to show you I left my transparency to sit for overnight and it's starting to go clear over on this side but if you can see on this side it's still milky so it's not ready yet don't touch it you really have to be patient and still let it sit so we'll come back and check it in another day hi I'm back and we've now left our Tar gel or self-leveling gel transfer sitting here on the craft sheet for two days now and if you can still see there's still some milky spots so if I were to try and lift that up now I would wreck the transfer so yet again we need to wait we'll check back in a day Hi, I'm back and it's now been about four days and if you can see the gel medium has dried completely. There's no more cloudiness to the gel. And so what we're going to be able to do now is peel the gel transfer up off the craft sheet and as you peel it up it brings the stamped image with it. So you're now left with a completely see-through transfer made from a rubber stamp. And so if you have a background that you like, you can put your transfer on the background and see the background right through the transfer. So if I were going to adhere this to the background, I'd probably use some more gel medium because that will dry completely clear. You can use brads, you can use um, staples, any of that kind of stuff would work as well. And so you have the start of a really cool looking card. Hope you enjoyed this rubber stamp transfer technique using tar gel medium or self-leveling gel medium made by Golden and the Ranger craft sheet. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Hi, I'm back. I just wanted to show you something I thought was kind of cool. I had grabbed a piece of glossy paper that I had colored with alcohol inks and I placed that gel transfer on t or transfer skin on top of the glossy cardstock and look, <laughs> it sticks to it without any glue or anything. So, and then if you Try it. You can actually peel it back up again. So I'm thinking, oh, if you've got a crafty friend, you can make them a transfer using this technique. Send them a card and they can peel it off and use it on a separate project themselves. Anyway, I thought that was pretty neat. Thanks again. Bye.